Welcome to the HBL Season 2 Awards. It is time to recognize some of the outstanding performances from this past season in which the Samurai came out on top, sweeping the MC Gang in the Championship Series 3-0. Myself, Smoke Masker, Demigods, Soul Reaper, and also Hunter Unit 751 winning a ring. Hunter did not play in the Championship Series, but he did contribute in the regular season, so let's not forget about that. But let's get into the awards. We're starting off with a brand new award. We obviously could not do this one last season, and that would be the Rookie of the Year. This season's Rookie of the Year goes to Strafe Helix. Strafe only played one game in the regular season in which he had 11 points. He actually shot very well, five for seven from the field. That was in week five. And then he didn't make another appearance until the semifinal games. In the semifinals, he averaged just under 10 points per game and from three point range, he shot 9 for 13. He had a very impressive semifinal round. Unfortunately, in the championship, he was not as efficient, but Strafe Helix, epic performance in the semifinal round and his excellent Week 5 performance earned him the Rookie of the Year. Up next, we have the Most Improved. So Most Improved, obviously, someone who performed in Season 1 and came back for Season 2, and in this case... We have the winner of most improved player, Soul Reaper 1025. Soul played a couple games in season one. He played for the uh, the No Nut Knights, who you know had their struggles. They did not make the postseason, and in that, uh, Soul scored three points in his first game in week five, and then he only scored once in week six. So yeah, he was uh, he wasn't much of a factor in season one. Season 2, however, playing for the Samurai, he had a monster season. So, 40 points in the regular season, averaging 8 points per game. He played 5 games in the regular season. He also had 16 rebounds throughout the season. So, you know, just about a little over 3 per game. And he also averaged 3.6 steals per game. He had 18 steals throughout the season. So... A massive improvement from Season 1. The most improved player for Season 2 goes to Soul Reaper 1025. Next up, we have the Hook Award. The Hook Award, our fun award, goes to the player with the most illegal steals. So not necessarily the, uh, you know, not always the goal. This is not the award that everyone is trying to get. But the player with the most fouls, the most hooks, the most illegal steals in season two is once again DHG Fireball. 28 fouls in season two throughout the regular season. That's This isn't even including the postseason. So Fireball by far had the most steals that were illegal throughout the season. So twice in a row, he is the Hoop Award winner. Next up, we have Best Supporting Player. This award is made for anyone who is not a captain, so captains are ineligible for this award. But it goes to the player who, you know, backs up their team the best and really does a good job uh, in every facet of the game. So, the winner of the Best Supporting Player for Season 2 of the HBL is Ump Double Ump. Ump had a very nice season, solid stats all the way across the board. He had 52 points throughout the regular season, averaging almost 9 per game. He did play the first half of the season as a member of the MC Gang, and the second half as a member of the Shooting Stars. And his assists, he had 12 assists throughout the season, so 2 per game, which uh, we don't really get a lot of assists in the league, so that is a very nice stat for him. He had 25 steals throughout the regular season, and those 19 rebounds aren't bad either. So there is your best supporting player for Season 2 of the HBL, Ump Double Ump. Now we have four awards left, and these are some of the biggest ones. We have next up, Defensive Player of the Year. This season's Defensive Player of the Year award goes to Gotenks, the captain of the Shooting Stars. Gotenks had the second most kills throughout the regular season, only second to Demigods. Demi had 14, Gotenks had 13. But on the other end of the spectrum, Gotenks was second in the league for steals with 
30 steals throughout the regular season and a, a very impressive number and he also put up a very nice 30 rebounds so uh, five rebounds per game and very impressively uh, two kills per game and five steals per game it was a very easy choice to make go tanks the defensive player of the year now it is time for the Offensive Player of the Year. This season's Offensive Player of the Year goes to Smokey Massacre. That's me. So I led the league in points, 94 points throughout the regular season, 15.6 per game. Also, shooting percentage-wise, 60% from two-point range and 53% from three-point range. So over 50% of three-point shots going in. Also, 10 assists throughout the regular season, which was third behind Ump Double Ump and Fireball. So with all those combined, Offense Player of the Year. Next up, it is time to discuss the Finals MVP. So in the championship series, the MC Gang were swept. The Samurai winning all three games. And the Finals MVP for the Season 2 Championship is Demigods. Demi had an amazing series with an incredible 41 points. That led the entire series in points out of all six players who played. He shot 57% from inside the arc, 42% from outside. He had eight kills, only two deaths. He had 14 steals and 22 rebounds. He did have the most rebounds throughout the series as well. So when you lead the series in points and rebounds, it's pretty obvious that that is gonna make you the finals MVP. So congratulations Demigods on that award. And now it is time to move on to the final award and by far the biggest one, the league MVP. This season's MVP award once again goes to DHG Fireball. Fireball was second in the league for total points, only two points behind myself. He had 92 throughout the regular season. He shot 75% from inside the arc and from a three-point range, he shot 53.67%. He actually had the best three-point shooting percentage of any player this season. And he led the league in steals as well. He had an incredible 38 steals to only 20 turnovers and he also had 26 rebounds and 11 assists. So in every aspect of the game, Fireball absolutely dominated this season and there was no question that whether he was playing with Atlantic Champ and Snaz or with Ump and Rog, either way, this guy was easily the season two MVP. So we now have a two-time MVP winner in DHG Fireball. We have Smokey and Gotenks who have now both won a defensive and offensive player of the year throughout the two seasons. And we got some new players getting the awards as well. Ump getting in there, Soul and Strafe. So, and then Demigods getting finals MVP. So there are a lot of good awards this season. And that means up next is the season three HBL draft where we will find out how these teams will adjust to the future. And with some changes coming, who knows what will happen. So make sure you stay tuned right here on the HBL channel. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and we will see you back in HBL season three.